Okay guys, I think you will have need to watch the last video to understand this. The next evolution of this stove, the last two tests were absolute failures. That's okay, we learn more from our failures than our successes. Um, just as a reminder, what I tr was trying to accomplish is a new sort of, ri of rocket stove, which worked in the last video. It absolutely worked. Um, where, but the idea was to combine a Sador stove and a rocket stove. So this becomes like a hopper, uh, and you could, you t the idea is to make it very, very tall, just completely fill it with sticks, and then cover the top. So the air then comes in there, travels a very short distance, just one brick to the um, entrance to the riser, which was two bricks, but in the, in the first uh, video that worked, this riser was directly on here. There was no... Um, gap. Now I made this version with the gap because you need to be able to, this stove's useless if you can't put a barrel over top of it to heat your house like a traditional J rocket stove. So I had to move it out uh, one full brick or enough to put a barrel over top. The problem was when I moved the riser and people that you know in, in rocket stove terminology they call this the burn chamber this is this is not necessary in a rocket stove. It it, it ruined my design here. What it, what it wanted to do was in the first um, the first test of the of the of the old stove, the last um, the last video. It found the riser, you know, immediately because the riser there was no gap. The riser was right here, pressed against the side of the firebox. This was all covered up uh, with brick. In my last two tests, I covered it with, with mineral wool. So the idea, again, was the, the air simply went in there, burned along the bottom, and found the riser very quickly. And if anybody's struggling, what's the point of all this? The point is, you just burn along the bottom channel. And you, you, these, all these sticks act like a hopper, and it doesn't burn up. It wants to uh, just con fall down, and it, it, you get you get 10, 20, 30 more minutes of burn time because only the bottom is burning like in the Sador stove, like in a J-Rocket stove. But the problem was once in, in, the, in, the, in the last example, and there's a, there's a grate in here guys, I'll explain that in a moment. Um, let me show that to you. Yeah, I'm trying to do a downdraft, but I didn't have a grate in the, in the last one. That still failed. Um, the point, the problem was it wanted to burn up, even though, again, my air channel was there. It only had to go across one brick to find the riser in the in the stove that worked. But I had to move this out to fit a barrel on top. I never got to the barrel because this failed. And just that adding that little bit of what they call burn chamber, which really isn't, it's unnecessary in a rocket stove, um, it, it killed the draft. So it just, it constantly, it just, it's hard to, to go against physics, guys. It just constantly wanted to burn up, of course. Flame and smoke and everything wants to go up. So uh, this was covered up, and a lot, smoke started to pour out of the sides. And I figured, well, that's okay for the first few minutes. Once this riser heats up really, really hot, and it really starts pulling, um then there is no, going to be no more smoke, like in the last video. That smoke pouring out the sides will go away, and everything will be sucked across the bottom, and these sticks up here will be untouched, like a hopper. If you made, the idea was you make this three or four, you know, two feet higher, you could get an hour and a half just out of small sticks. It just didn't work. It does work when the riser is right next to the burn chamber. And it's just that, you know, that is more of a true rocket stove. Um, you know, adding the, the longer, of course, you, the, the longer this run is in here, the, the, it killed my draft. And eventually, you know, if this would, would heat up to piping hot, of course, that, I think that smoke would have stopped. But it doesn't, you don't have all day for this to get piping hot. It just, it was smoking for five minutes, six minutes. It, it was trying to come up. And as soon as I pulled the top off of it, all the sticks, boom, flashed, lit. Everything lit up. It just was so dying to light. But the draft was, was now what I tried to do here is change. Well, I tried one final uh, 
design that didn't work, I figured, well, I'll put in a grate there and I'll do a downdraft. So th there's a, under the grate, these two bricks come out. Come on, buddy. Under the grate is two bricks. I don't know what you can see there. I'm not going to crawl down in the mud. Um, under the grate is two bricks, and then I figured I'd pile my sticks on top and create it's you, the the burning then has to go down through the grate, a down draft, and then and then find the riser and up. So I'm, I was trying to really get everything to burn downward, and then to do that. Well, I tried it once with the air coming in the original hole, and it was a disaster again. It just wanted to burn up. Smoke started to come up, and as soon as I opened the top, everything boom, flashed. All the sticks went up at once, because it finally got the oxygen it needed. So I figured, well, tr try to incorporate some principles from a J-Rocket. I covered, this was all covered up and sealed. Air hole here, and an air hole here. So... Um, I preheated this by sliding a, a, a fire starter across the bottom and you could when you when I looked down you know you could see it burning and it was it was preheating this so um, what happened when I when I started it up and again this was covered this was all covered with mineral wool so the only air I figured it gets it's gonna that's preheated so the draft has already started up the riser and I had my little two two foot chimney on top of this even well, the air is going to have to want to come in here and go down and down draft and it just wasn't it's immediately the sticks wanted to burn up and smoke started to come up just like the last time now if this if I let's just say I came out here you know and if I if I preheated this riser for 20 minutes you know I just packed it uh, I just you know I just I heated all these bricks up it's going to it would have worked I mean the, the draft in this if but it, you know who, who wants nobody can do that and you know if you're in your house trying to start a stove and it's a cold day I mean th that would have worked but you have to have a design of course where the chimney starts to draw properly you know inside of 30 seconds to 60 seconds or it's not your designs useless and that's what happened I do think if I would have just preheated the crap out of this forever it would have you know it would have pulled and everything would have would have worked fine and then as it would have gotten hotter and hotter and hotter it would have worked but it doesn't nobody has that much time and in the meantime you would have, you know if, if you don't preheat this thing ridiculously the smoke immediately wants to come up and you smoke your house out so I honestly this was a complete failure and that's fine we learn more lessons from our failures right I don't know how the Sador stove does it guys that's the Sador stove is a gigantic hopper not not a small square like this but like a, a a chest you'd put your shoes in at the end of a bed or a like a military locker a big huge square and the air comes in low on one side burns across the bottom and then goes up wh whatever Sador's version of a chimney is which isn't a thin little riser a rocket stove little riser has p more pull and well they do you know they do kind of tell you when you open the top, you know, be careful and, you know, make sure the smoke clears and, I, you know, they're, they're, I, I, I don't know, I, I don't, you know, I can't imagine that stove doesn't, if you don't do everything perfectly, does not, if you open that top up, at, you know, to load more wood or whatever, doesn't smoke you out. But they've been around forever and I'm not going to accuse them, I mean, they know what they're doing more than I do. And they've been around a long time, so um, just, we, I must assume they have it solved. I'm just saying... I don't know how they have that solved, because this system should draw better than a Sedora stove, and it immediately wants to wants to come up. And um, uh, the other thing I, you know, when you watch these rocket stove videos on YouTube, a lot of the the guys that just weld the little two uh, little two pieces of metal together, you know, that just make those elbows, they all work. Um, this this, um, it, to my opinion, from what I've learned here. The, the bigger your run is, this what they call burn chamber, it, it's, it, the worse your system's going to be. Sometimes You need it in a J rocket stove because you have to have the barrel. You have to have room for the barrel. You, your barrel can't go on top of your firebox. But this should be, this, this run across this should be as small as possible. 
fact, they work the best when the riser is right on the firebox, like those guys that just weld those two pieces of metal together. There's a video on YouTube where the guy's like, monster rocket stove, and he's got a huge pipe going down and a huge pipe going over, and he's, I don't know, it's like an eight-foot huge pipe going up. It works just because it's just, it's, you know, his riser's so big, but this, the, he's, you know, that run is too long in his design. It should be 70, 80 percent less. There's no reason for a long run in a rocket stove. In my opinion, the longer your run, the least effective it's going to be. And you don't even, in my opinion, you don't even need a run. I mean, you can put the riser right on the, the but that, does, that doesn't do you any good because, again, most of these incorporate a barrel, which they need to incorporate a barrel because, let's just say you want it, you put this stove in your house without the barrel and it worked and it, you put the riser right next to the, to the, to the firebox and it's going to be like a really cool rocket. So it, it just, it's kind of pointless to have a, it would take, it just takes an hour and a half for these bricks to heat up. It just takes too long for red brick or fire brick to heat up. And with this small amount of mass, it just wouldn't, it, you know, what's the point? It would only heat one room, and if you're going to do a mass heater that takes, you know, two hours for everything to heat up, you know, you want five, six, seven hundred more bricks than this. You want to you want to truly heat a gigantic mass up that's going to throw heat back for 10 to 12 hours. The only purpose of a, of a design like this is to throw the, have the barrel over top to get the immediate heat. And if that would have worked, you know, you get the immediate heat from the barrel, and then this, all this brick would have, would have radiated out heat for six hours. It would have been the best of both worlds, but it was a disaster. And uh, again, if I, right now, if I just move this right here, it would have, it would have worked. But what does that, that, what does that do for you? Anyway, thanks guys.